Generic greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. In the previous episode, we finished off Elmshorn and towards the end it was more of a coral simulator, but that was quite enjoyable. And we also managed to make, I wouldn't call them thematic tanks, but more stylized tanks. So fish that were either coordinated in colour and looked very well together, or species that um, had some sort of some sort of look about them where they all seem to get on and look all right in the tank. And obviously we also decorate everything and things like that. So that was quite good. Uh, we've got a new mission, however. It's uh, number four of, of ten. It's Valberg. Restore this historic aquarium to profitability. Okay, never done this one, so let's just crack on. I'm assuming we're going to have, well, we will have new objectives, but also I'm assuming it's going to add new features, and by the look of it, it is. So, this historic aquarium has been in decline for years. It needs a new curator willing to shake things up. Are you up to the challenge? Um... Plus one generic acceptance points, I guess. Part of the problem is the weather is so cold in Valberg that none of the heaters work at full capacity, just 66% to be exact. See if you can turn the cold temperatures to your advantage with this new piece of equipment. The chiller. Ah, the chiller. We can have frozen fish. Uh, chillers are used to keep tanks at cold water temperatures, allowing us to keep cold water animals like the cuckoo wrasse. Oh, so we now have cold water fish. Excellent. It gets better. Here in Valberg, there are 50% more effect or the 50% more effective than normal. In other words, you can chill bigger tanks with less chillers. Your mission is to exploit cold water displays to get the aquarium back to the limelight. Okay, so we've got some research and we'll go for I guess this one here. And you can see the temperature is cold water. So cold water, there's a hot water one. That's um, cold water for the starfish, hot water for the uh, tubular. I guess it says tropical rather than hot water, but we're gonna go for the cuckoo rasp. And we will pause it for a moment to check our objectives. So we have to unlock the Cuckoo Rass, build a tank with volume 50, 6 Cuckoo Rass, sufficient water quality and sufficient heating. Okay, so let's see what we've got first. We'll have a zoom in and we can see that we have um, a fairly desolate tank, which has got a couple of, um, a couple of crustaceans in the bottom there, as well as that thing that I can't remember the name of. Um... um Foxtail? No. Um, it's going to come to me as soon as I click it. Uh, fox face! Close enough. Fox face rabbit. Fox face rabbit fish. Um, we've also got some uh, blue knuckle hermit crabs. Cool. But it's all empty, which is a big, big problem. Uh, we've got a very, very happy looking fish. <laughs> and a couple of things at the back there. I'm guessing that's the same one, which is not fully, not grown as much. It looks like it, yes. And then round here, we have oh, a nice, decent tank, actually. It's got some. Uh, it's got some tropical fish in there, and uh, it looks okay. But what we need to do is probably to probably make it just, just polish it up a little bit. In terms of um, people, who have we got? We have only oh, we've got two people. We got Tobias and Wade. Tobias has got feeding, fixing, and gift shop, which we haven't unlocked. Which I'm assuming it's going to unlock in this one if we've already got the rolls for it. And we've got feeding and fixing, so that's not too bad. So we'll keep that as is. So let's. Um, Unpause it and we'll go for research. Um, we need to unlock a couple of things. We've got a padded bench there, which um, might be of use. Fossil power pump and large protein skimmer. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the power pump, I think. And what we'll do is we'll spend a little bit of money, and I do stress a little bit, on um, maybe just, you know, tarting these up a little bit because they're, they're just a bit desolate inside and it doesn't look very nice. So we'll go for. Uh, maybe not a rocky out. Uh, we'll go for some kelp in the back here, and maybe in the centre there, and whatnot. That looks okay. And uh, we're just going to put a couple of um, reed beds in there. Eelgrass, maybe. Um, eelgrass is okay. It's um, generally quite reasonable. There we go. And let's see what that looks like when we're down here. That looks much better. There we go. I'm sure the animals are much happier. And also, it improves the tank as well. So what are these guys? These are... Um, we got the porcupine puffer, and we've got the red tail uh, butterfly fish. So, what can we put in that tank to make it look just a bit different? Um, we could put some rubble in there. Um, put some rubble in, a little bit of rubble, and um, maybe some rocks at the back. Rock there, rock there, maybe rock there. And then we'll put some like cabbages in between the two. Uh, lettuce, rather, lettuce. There we go. There's some broccoli. And um, some radishes and other assorted things in the bottom. Mainly just, you know, rubble. Okay, so there's that sorted. So they look a little bit better. In terms of coloration, we do have different brushes. We've got blue paint. We've got harborside. Uh, shipwreck paint. It's a little shipwreck paint. That looks okay, actually. 
Uh, and the question is, can we paint the rest of the stuff? Drawn Tropical Beach. Blue paint is what we've already got on. And Harborside. I do like the Harborside paint. Um, I think the, the wood colour there looks... It looks warmer, but that one looks... I don't know. Do, you, do we just go with the blue? I mean, there's something quite nice about that. I think we're going to stick with just the blue paint. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Okay, so... We need to... Oh, we also need to do something over here as well. Um, actually, no, we don't, because that's pretty much done. Yeah, that's fine. So, we have no toilets, which we'll need to sort that out. We also have no vending machines, by the look of it. So, let's resolve that. So, we'll go for vending machines. Fizzy drinks vending machine, which I'll put in this area here. And then in between them, we will obviously put a bench... And we'll start placing some bins around the place as well. Because currently, we don't have one. And you can see people are actually wanting to go to the toilet there. So we need to put a toilet in uh, sooner rather than later. So, where am I going to put the toilet? Toilet will go... Um, I guess I'll just expand it to this side a little bit. Or maybe down here. Um, have the toilet go in here. So we'll expand that, like so. We will go for a wall, which will come along. And to there. And then go along to there. And this will just be our little lavatory area. Basic toilet. Um, it's a bit cramped, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is very, very cramped. One, two, three. I'm not going to place any more because I'm very aware of the money that we need to have. One of your guests is hungry. Build some chocolate vending machines so they can get something to eat. Did you know that you can change the price uh, you charge for refreshments? No, I did not. Increase your profit margins to make the guests happy with cheap prices, but the choice is yours. So, in fact, what I'll do is I'll pick that bench up and I'll shift the bench over to there, perhaps. And then we'll have some chocolate vending machines. So, um, one, two, because I'm going to pick that one up and move it over to here. And there we have that. And oh, there we go. Look, we can actually see how much money we've got. So, yeah, you can alter the price there. Knock it up a little bit, maybe. There we are. It says that's sorted. So our objective is still unlock the cuckoo wrasse, which we are about a quarter of the way there. And we need to put it in a tank with at least volume 50. What tanks do we have? We have we actually have quite a bit, quite a few tanks there. Um, so what we'll do, we will expand the, we'll expand this over to the right, I think. So we'll say expand, and we'll get a fairly big area. Um, how much is that going to cost me? Um, 800. I don't think that's unreasonable. There we go. And then we'll think about the tank we want to put in. I am probably going to go for um, a corner tank again. Have a corner tank sort of that size. Oh, no, no, wait. We want a deep corner tank. Get rid of that one. We want a deep corner tank. That's 100 capacity. We need to be at least 50. Um, I'm not really... Looking to make a really large tank. So maybe... I'm also thinking about... We're going to put one on this side as well. I'm thinking that is fine. That's an 80. That's an 80 tank. And we'll put one rough on this side as well. But for now, I have a wall of three. Um, and then the other tank will go here. But I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wall it off. Um, I'll j actually, I'll just wall off that section. And then I'll put in the door there. All right. So we need access to this. So we will promptly give access by putting the ladders in. Like so. I don't know what we're going to have. Oh, we're going to have a, a cuckoo wrasse. We have large heaters and large filters, but we don't want heaters. We want chillers. Big difference. So it is going to be now chilled. We will still have to filter it. So we'll put probably a large filter in like so. And the cuckoo wrasse requires cockles. So we will place a cockles dispenser about here um, 
what other things do we have? Well, that's getting repaired. That's bad because that can't. We can't have. We don't have access to that. That's just a bad design, surely. Does it break down? Um. I think everything does break down. That pump might cause us reliability score. Reliability score. The pump. Uh, the pump doesn't have a reliability score, so I'm guessing it doesn't need to. Um, be, uh, I'm guessing it doesn't need to be connected. That's fine then. So, food's there. We've got a tool station there. We've got a tool station there. So we need over here, the same sort of thing. We need a tool station. Um, uh, we need a broom stand actually as well. I'll tell you what, I'll place a broom stand in there. I'll place a tool station in there. And I will also go ahead and place a... Sponge in here because that's the closest to that really out there and on there. It's about the same distance from these two. But anyway, there we go. So the cuckoo ras, let's just speed up to max speed. We'll need to place in there. Um which one do we have? Three grand. What I'll do then, I will expand our area here. And well we're gonna do there as well. So there we go. And I think that's the right size. One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be a deep corner tank. Let's rotate it around. And there we go. And it's actually wrong, slightly, slightly wrong. I'm going to delete that. Pick that up and move it to there. And then we'll have a wall in there. Doesn't matter because we were always going to expand this way anyway, so there we are. Um, I'm going to pick that up and place it back here. And then we'll have a platform. And then it's actually better there, isn't it? There we are. Right. So there's our two tanks. So we might as well do one of the tanks now. So what do we have? Well, we've got all things like the yellow tanks and uh, things like that. So I think... Ooh. That's a humpback snapper, which uh, requires a tank of 54 or more. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's also a shawler, so they're quite big. The problem is that everything is quite understandably... Uh, the po uh, Pokemon Puffer is grown. Um, problem is that... Oh, there's some rubbish. I'm going to have to hire someone. Um, hire. Feeding. Cleaning. Cleaning too. Welcome aboard. Um, who was that? That was... Um, was it them? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Dante. Right, we want it and we'll have some humpback snappers which are quite expensive but they should provide us with some uh, decent stuff. Shawler, I need at least three and also there was something else that I saw there. It eats sand eels. Ah, do we have sand eels? I assume we do. Sand eel dispenser, we do. That makes perfect sense because if we didn't have it then that would be quite a problem. Let's just lift this up, put them there next to the door which makes a bit more sense um, and we'll just put these a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so we want our fish. One, two, three, four. And they're fairly big fish. Um, it requires sand eels, yes. It's got no filtration and it's not heated. So we're going to use large heaters. Probably two of them. Yep, that's fine. And then a filter. It'll be a large filter. And that's enough filtration for that at the moment. At the moment. So... What else have they got? They're a shawler. They will grow in size up to size 16. So they're currently size 9. Alright, so they're going to grow 7 each. Ooh, cancel. Um, that's the wrong button. So... We need to make sure where we don't go over... 50 odd. Right, okay. So we'll put a couple of small fish in there then. Um, orange pellets, bully, no. Um, that requires caves and no lights. But it's about the right colour for this tank. It's only size 4 as well. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
That should be about right. So we need a cave system. So a rocky outcrop. Um, there. Some rubble. There and there. We will dot around some small rocks. And then I think... Do some kelp. And there we go. Let's unpause it and see what it looks like. Oh, quite nice. It's not that difficult to make a decent looking tank. And I think that's an advantage. <laughs> Cuckoo Rass it is now unlocked. We will now research the common starfish because that's something we haven't seen before. So obviously money is a little bit short, but we should be alright. We need to place uh, Cuckoo Rass in here. Cuckoo Rass, how much are the Cuckoo Rass? 144. So it requires caves, it requires cold water, which we have, and um, it can grow up to size, ooh, up to size 11. Um, so if we want six of them... 66, uh, oh, that's fine, because we're up to 80 in that one. So, Cuckoo Rass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sufficient water quality and everything else, yes. So, did you see that? You just got to bump to your base prestige for exhibiting the first uh, cold water fish in the history of Valberg Aquarium. Excellent. Base prestige uh, doesn't up degrade over time like normal prestige, so it's very handy for ranking up. You receive it for completing special objectives like the one you just did. Good. Anyway, on to the next challenge. Continue to expand your range of animals, both tropical and cold water, uh, with the aim of reaching level 6. So if we click on this, we can see that... What's our permanent? Does it tell us our permanent level? Uh, it tells the prestige rank, but not the permanent level. Anyway, so I'm just going to pause it because these fish are not having a good time. They require a cave system. At least a couple of them, probably. There we go. There's enough caves, hopefully, for them. And we'll have rubble. And do we just want all this like rocky bottom and stuff? Mm. We'll try it. It might not look very good, but we'll see. No, it doesn't look very good. Okay, I might be able to get away with it if I paint it. Um, the harbour side colour. Yep, that looks a bit better. Okay, so we're going to paint both of these harbour side colours. Oh, we have now ranked up. <laughs> Didn't even do anything. Well, we did. We continued playing. So, today's beverage is chamomile tea. A pirate cove paint, a pitted column. That's pretty good. Um, a pirate chest, ancient gate, and Arabian butterfly fish, French angel fish, a Brazilian ras, a frilled... Uh, anemone, anemone? <laughs> a large chiller and a double filter. All right, so it's um, looks like it's a filter and a protein skimmer together. Fantastic work, Valberg is definitely back on the map. While you've been expanding, I've been talking to the Aquarium Board of Directors. Together we've come up with a set of final objectives. This will be the first time where you have been set a daily revenue objective. The simplest way to increase your revenue is to increase your prestige. Other source of revenue include food, drink, and gift sales. Good luck. I know you can do it. Right, so let's just pause it for a second. We're going to try out this new paint, which was, I believe, um, it wasn't Shipwreck. It was Pirate Cove. So let's have a look at Pirate Cove. And, oh, that's going to look really nice in this. Yep, I think that's actually better. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy with that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll paint all of the walls as well. So we'll go to Pirate Cove Paint, which you can paint the outside, which I didn't realise. <laughs> there we go, and we've got like a Pirate Cove outfit. Not that it matters, can you do the ground? Oh, you can! Uh, do you want to know how this is Pirate Cove area? Um, we'll just paint inside the door because, quite frankly, it doesn't matter. They don't see it. Oh, no, it's not costing us any money, so might as well do it. Definitely need a click and drag over multiple area thing. Because that's um, a bit annoying to do. There you go. Do you know what the problem is now, though? Like, you've got this weird sort of gap bit. Um, so you either fill the rest of it or you don't <laughs> and leave it. 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this back to stock. Because, quite honestly, uh, to paint the entire thing, it's a bit of problematic. What we'd have to do, and I think the only way it would look anywhere near decent, is if we had several sections. So we'd have um, everything separated by a wall. At the moment, as you can see, it's all open plan. We'd have to have, like, a pirate cove area where you go inside and, you know, have a go around. That's probably what we'd have to do. And that's probably what we will do. But for the time being, we're just going to stick with the blue tank. Although, I might paint the tanks and leave the rest as is. So, we'll go for... Um, what was it? It wasn't Shipwreck. It was Pirate Cove and this Harbour Side. Let's put both on. Pirate Cove and Harbour Side. And... Both look fine. I'll just leave them as that. Leave them as that. Right, so... We want to get... For a start, we'll put basic toilets. We'll put some more in. There we are. And we also want... It's not in here. I'm guessing we have to research it. Uh, no, where is it then? A new one unlock the uh, common starfish. We will now unlock the Atlantic Pollock. So where is... Oh, look at the ancient gate. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, what else do we have in here? We have um, a pitted column. Ooh, that looks very nice. I'm going to probably build another tank and move one of these out, but we'll see. Um, where was I? So, I wanted to find the... Oh, I can't see it. Hmm, I can't see it at all. Oh, you can just leave an anchor on the ground. That's not good. Uh, yes, I was going to place uh, like a kiosk, but it doesn't seem that we can have doesn't, doesn't seem like we can have one. Anyway, let's go for hiring and we want someone that's good at fixing and cleaning, I think, because we currently got someone that's Oh, we got a cleaning too. So, feeding and fixing. Feeding and fixing. There we go. Claire. So, uh, earn a total of 900 prestige to level up. We can do that. Um, see, a lot of these things are broken down, so it's taken a while for the workers to get onto that one. But they will get there. So, we want... Just to see. Custom guidebooks. So, aquarium without a guidebook is uh, barely aquarium at all, don't you think? On a completely unrelated topic, would you be interested in selling custom guidebooks in your aquarium? We design, print, and deliver all the books. You just have to sell them. Why not try this free sample? And, okay, no obligation trial, right? Done. Uh, what's this one? The uh, Valberg Tourist Board. Hello, we represent the Valberg Tourism Board. We are very pleased to the changes you've been making here, especially with the introduction of cold water species. Good. People are flocking to Valberg from the surrounding villages to see the new display. And some achievements. Uh, we would love to see the range of cold water species expanded even further. We would be happy to make a donation to facilitate this. You had me at donation. So we need different cold water animals to get that done. So, um, we've now unlocked the power pump, even though we already started with one. We've got a padded bench, we've got power lights and large protein skimmers. I'm going to go for a padded bench. So, we now have three objectives, as you can see. We've got a guidebook, a uh, guidebook sold. So, I'm guessing it'll be in here somewhere now. It is really not. So, where on earth will it be? Um, place guidebook shelf. On research. I have no idea where that is. Place it from the message tab. Okay. Grab the guide bookshelf from the messages and place it somewhere that meets your guests' need. There we go. So gift shop one and gift shop two. Gift shop one. Oh, and then the... Urgh! Oh, don't say I've lost it. I might have lost... No, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> what happened is it um, it ended, went the next turn and then it drops the tool. And that could cause you to basically lose it. Um, 
So I think I'll place them around here. Says that. And we need to place a guidebook supply. So that'll also be in here. What's a gift shop too? Is that the supply? That is the supply. So the supply can go in here. Should be fine. And then people are... Oh, people are actually going to grab guidebooks. Yes, that is it. Whoa! They've got a Half-Life 2 gravity gun. Or telekinetic powers. <laughs> Either way, we have sold a guidebook. How much are we selling a guidebook for? Um, selling for 12 generic units of currency. Okay, that's not too bad. So, let's work on the next... Uh, that'll, that'll complete itself. We'll just leave that. So, different cold water animals is what we're going to go for now. So, what I want to do is have an area where you um, go in and it's like it's just like got one sort of entrance there and then we'll colour we'll color and stylize it because we haven't done that. So, what type of tanks do we want to base it around? I think uh, lagoon tanks would be quite good. Have a have three lagoon tanks not large ones actually let's just have one large lagoon area around here so we'll expand the land we'll just buy this buy this off obviously we will put walls and stuff in um I have a problem with doing that I might do this instead the reason for that is i, I even painting that it doesn't really matter regardless of what i paint it's going to be a problem let's just do that there we are um so we want to have a wall across there and for now a wall across there so we'll have an entrance to come in and then we'll have the two we'll have two tanks um where's the best place to well let's actually see so a lagoon tank the amount of tank and hold is 32. that's an 88 lagoon tank that's okay so we want a bit more space around it probably a gap of three all the way around it so we need to expand it somewhat. There we go. And then a wall will go along here. And this is where we'll power everything. So we'll delete uh, the entrance to it, which we'll have there and there. And we will have a deletion there, because that's going to be a staff dot. We can even have a staff door there, and it means we have very easy access to clean those toilets. So, staff door there and there. We will have a cleaning cupboard, broom stand there, sponge sink right next door. Well, next to it, four next door, and there we are. Right. So, different cold water animals. We can do that. Um, what's this one? Interested in some common cuttlefish? Oh, cool! Yes! Um, they want a fully grown French angelfish for trades. High skill required. It uh, may eat or damage fish with size 2 or less and crustacean size 2 or less. Hmm. A beautiful partnership. That is our guidebook supply, which is good. Um, so, one of your staff is about to level up. This will allow you to choose, increase one of their skills and learn a new one. Simply click the skill you wish the staff to learn or increase. High levels uh, increase the speed at which the staff are capable of those tasks. Okay. Um, so, ah, oh, they've leveled up here. So, so we've got uh, feeding, fixing, cleaning, gift shop. I'm going to say they've got decent precision, empathy and memory. So, really, fixing is what we want to level them up at. So, there we go. Excellent. So, this tank we need to fill out. So, we're going to go with a... What was it? A pirate cove paint? Or do we want to have a, a shipwreck paint? Oh, the shipwreck's nice. There we go. There we are. And all these walls. There we are. Um, let's 
have this stuff. It's a shipwreck paint. What do we have that's cold water? We've got a common starfish. Cold water. Cuckoo wrasse. And that's all we have cold water for the time being. So... We've almost got this done, the Atlantic Pollock. Um, and it did say actually get a fully braided French angel fish. Well, we do have. Oh, we don't have that unlocked. I thought we did. There's the Atlantic Pollock. Um, red dwarf flying fish. Ah, there we go, because it's from different ranks, you see. So we wanted to get French angel fish by sponge pellets. So let's start doing that. You've just unlocked the Atlantic Pollock. Only needs to be fed every other day. Useful reduces your feeding demands. Okay, cool. So we'll put that in here. So we will have a Atlantic Pollock. It can go up to size 16. Okay. So let's work on the principle. It's going to be 32. Um... More. Right. Um, we want a starfish in there. Ah, excellent job. These new cold water specimens are simply fascinating and they make sure the tourism board. Uh, should we make the tourism board over in Linholm's jealous? In Linholm jealous. Fair enough. Uh, talking of the Linholm tourism board. They sent us this to our office as a sort of practical joke. We're not sure what to do with it. Can you... Can you look after it? Um... Uh... I guess I'll put it in there? So, I'm hoping that that's cold water. It is cold water! That's an advantage, isn't it? <laughs> right. So we got one of those. Um, this is going to be like a fairly... I don't know, fairly bland looking one because it's because of all the fish is sandy colour. But again, we've got we've got parity there. Um, what I'll do is have a couple more of the starfish. So one, two. Um, do I want any more than that? No, because I think they'll grow. We might even have a problem now. So let's let's connect all this up. So we want a a large pump, I think, a power pump, which we'll place in here and then connect that up. We will have a that is definitely connected up. Yes, it is. We want a chiller. A couple of chillers, actually. Basic chiller. One. Two. That's fine. And we also need a filter. Put that in there, actually. That would be a bit better. And there's that done. So, we do have a supply of sand eels, but we don't have a supply of mussels. So, we will resolve that. We'll go for mussels. Um, just put on the back there. And we'll have a sand eel as well, I think. A sand eel dispenser there. And that is technically a tank that's all living and working. Excellent. So, we'll need to... I wonder if the starfish wander around. They probably will. Um, what I'm going to do is fill this up with something. I'm probably going to go with like a... What's that one there? Deep tank only. Yep, that's understandable. Um, what if we have things like nets and... In, what's ancient gate? Does that look... This is the pirate place, isn't it? So maybe that there. We're going to spend a bit of money here, but hey-ho. That's a nice rock. As rocks go. Um, a barrel. A couple of barrels, maybe. Spending money, but we've got enough money. So, pirate chest. Is that a bit too much? It's like my first goldfish ball, isn't it? I mean, that's what, <laughs> that's all we're going for here. Yeah, let's go full cliche. Let's have an anchor in there as well. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, and then we want some um, some nice grasses around the place like that and then I think sea lettuce that should be it let's see what it looks like so this is what it looks like when we first come in 
You know what? It would look better if it was higher. But from that view, it's all right. Let's have another look from, from this point, from this view. That's all right, you know. I'm not, I'm, I don't mind that. Yeah, let's say if it was a bit higher, it would probably look better, but well, it isn't, so it's not going to. Anyway, I think we will leave it there for this episode. Our main objective is still shown on the top right there. Uh, we need daily revenue and some more prestige. With this thing, it should help out. We need to put in some benches and other things around here because we have a distinct lack of that, but it shouldn't take too long to do that. So, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, by all means, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.